Hey, welcome to Local Dara Tutorials. I'm Leo, and today we are going to learn about charts. Let's understand how to structure our data, explore multiple features to create custom visuals, and connect to multiple data sources. All right, let's do this. I'm in a blank canvas app, and the first thing I'm going to do is to insert a couple of charts and bind them to a collection prepared previously. So this is really everything you need to do in order to get the chart on the screen. If you're not sure how to import local data components, please watch the tutorial showing the screen right now. Now let's explore some properties available for the charts and how do they work. We can choose pre-configured themes for changing the color of the chart. We can also change the field type for a gradient. And if you want, you can also use an image to fill the chart. Everything you need to do is to provide a public link for the image. So, in this example, I'm copying the link of an image and changing the background image property. Local data charts behave interactively, allowing you to see details of the data. The user can export the data as SVG, PNG or even CSV. Let's pick the code and understand how the data is being generated for this chart. In this example, we are using static data so you can understand better how the data should be structured. And yes, we can leverage data from multiple data sources, but first let's understand how we should structure the data. Our collection uses two columns, data and name. Data is a table and name is the series name. Let's check what we have inside data table. We have now an array that stores records containing label and value. Now that you know how to structure the data, let's see how we can leverage multiple data sources. Let's say we have sales information about client A in SharePoint lists and information about client B in Dataverse. Let's get it both inside our app, creating a readable data structure for the chart. So this is our SharePoint list, we have just year and revenue, and this is our Dataverse table where we have year and revenue as well. Just for learning purpose, I created two buttons, one for getting data from SharePoint and another one for getting data from Dataverse. Our challenge now is to create the same data structure as shown before. So let's start by creating data and name columns. Now, for all records in our data source, we're going to get the label and the data value. You can use this record statement for referencing the current record. Ok, looks like we're good to go. Let's press the button and check our collection. Alright, as you can see, it worked. Now let's change the data source from this chart. I'm going to select the collection we just created. Great, now we have dynamic data coming from our data source. Next step, let's connect to our Dataverse table as well. I'm going to copy and paste the formula we just created so we don't need to write everything again. And now I will just replace the data source name, the collection name and the columns name. Ok, now let's see if it works. Ok, it works and we have the data structure that we need for the chart. For our final step, let's make everything fit inside just one collection. So I will just copy and paste one of the formulas inside the other. And now we have both data sources inside just one collection. 
I also changed the name of each series for Revenue Client A and Revenue Client B. However, our formula is not working yet. And the reason is because I stored the revenue in Dataverse as text. I did this to show you that we need to have the same data type for each column in the collection. As a workaround, I would just convert the text into value using the formula value. I changed the data name for client A and client B. Alright, now let's press the button and see if it works. And great, it works. Notice that the chart is referenced each series with the name we gave inside our collection, client A and client B. Remember, you don't need to create this data structure from scratch. You can access our documentation and copy the code snippet. Then you can just paste and adapt for your use case. Hey, thanks for watching this video. You can try local data for free by creating a developer account. I'll leave the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe to receive the latest news about our components. See ya!